Dear friends, I cannot be so outspoken like you, John. Are you a British guy? Are you now having a good British education? And my education was based in under captivity of having Vladimir Lenin in front of my eyes. So I would like to congratulate all of you with this great conference, especially uh, Tom Lantosh Institute and Tom Lantosh family. I'm just trying to under remember all my meetings with Tom. It was in 98 uh, when Annette and Tom arrived to Vilnius telling uh, to all guys who were interested in the western path of Lithuania back from captivity to, uh, to freedom. Guys, if you like to be Western, you should be self-critical. Um, and he make uh, uh, he was a possible um, number one issue in Lithuania, encouraging people to remember their collaboration with Nazis. Very painful chapter to start your independence in the 90, liberating your country, and immediately share the joy of freedom with the important message, extremely important message about uh, how your country deal with the Jews and how your countrymen collaborated with Nazis. So I, I'm very glad uh, remembering the Thomas Lantos key speech in our parliament. And uh, after that, uh, I went to, uh, I think I, m I met you uh, in uh, Copenhagen during all possible events. Tom Lantos was so brave trying to uh, bring message, being a chairman of Foreign Affairs Committee of uh, American uh, uh, Representative House. I think those guys like Stu Eisenstadt, Tom Lantos, change possibly partly the Europe and Andrew Baker who is now here is implemented those changes in a very careful systematic way. So I would like to say thank you very much for those years of dialogue when uh, Tom Lantos brought his uh, mixture of Jeffersonian feeling of freedom and responsibilities of the, for the victims of the concentration camp. Uh, my mother in 42, 40, 44, so, so in the, she was inmate of concentration camp in Stulhof, and she saw Hungarian Jews and trying to ask, you know, she was 18 year old, and she tried to ask from where in Yiddish. They spoke in Yiddish. It's, you know, the conference have named Yiddish life and anti Semitism. So Yiddish life was in Yiddish, you know, in Warsaw, in Vilna, in Lvov. And she tried to ask von Van Zaitir about two Hungarian, two, two huge, huge numbers of Hungarian Jews who they brought from train station to camp. And the answer was Ungern, Ungern. So my mother understood that it's, she, they're talking about hunger, not about Hungarian Jews. But later on, they, being in the same place, they understood that they are from Budapest. So I think uh, politicians from New Europe, John Mann just presented all, old Europe, all democracies, Western democracies, but New Europe, 10 new countries of European Union, they have what to do. They have what to do here. Uh, they uh, have right to create new message. Now Lithuania is uh, chairing the Council of European Union. And I would like to say that uh, it was enough easy with uh, massive support of Poland, Hungary, for Lithuanians finally, and having, uh, and of course being backed by, by our friends from, uh, from, uh, from Westminster. It's very easy to, to formulate that Hezbollah is a terror organization. And it was done by European Union. I think uh, facing two union neighborhoods, Ukraine, Moldova, Caucasian countries from one side. From other side, Tunisia, respectful country like Morocco, Libya, Egypt, Jordan and Syria. We are every day facing a moral duty 
to have the same standards. If we are asking Ukrainians about their civil society, and 28th of November they will sign the agreement with the European Union, association agreement, not looking of our resistance from Mr. Putin in this case, I think we have a right to ask uh, our southern neighborhood, southern neighborhood of the European Union, especially countries who are underway to be better after Arab Spring, how they are doing with hatred, how they are doing with their education, how they are doing with their civil society. So if the European Union is based on civil rights, human rights, and, uh, and absolutely, uh, let's use French word, laïc, civil, uh, civil society and civil education, why it should be romantic to ask us, uh, our uh, Arab friends and Muslim brothers, to go to the same way where we sp spent last 200 year years forming our societies, to concentrate on education, and then after that receive massive support of the European Union. Those tens of billions of dollars supplied by Brussels to the Union neighborhood should be linked and should be related to their internal education matters to their internal uh, duties to create civil societies in the form where our society is created. Be sure it's not W. Bush wording, what I'm just telling to you. It's not like mission completed. It's reality that if we are asking neighborhood of European Union to be like us, we are tr finding finding proper wording, we should ask them to be in one link with our general trend, building open civil societies, and being not based on that, what John Mann had just uh, mentioned, uh, like a uh, uh, fight against hatred. We cannot be based uh, on this last 50 year of education uh, when elders of science and all those things published in, uh, um, in Arab language was massively massively poisoning uh, uh, Arab societies. So I think slowly European Union will formulate from Brussels side and for chairing countries. Well, every six months you have next country who will chair European Union. I would like to come back to uh, our item. I think uh, uh, political environment Mature political environment is extremely important. I will be extremely unpolite trying to choose either it's for Hungarians to tell either Fidesz or, uh, or Hungarian Social Democrats or, uh, or Hungarian liberals were better doing their homeworks about uh, uh, anti-Semitism, hatred, and uh, related to the Jewish community. I, I trying to avoid, somebody should make a catalog of uh, governments from 1990, from the liberation time until 2012, 2013, who make which, which uh, steps uh, reestablishing justice for Jewish society. I'm simply glad that my tiny country of four, but now it's real, of three million inhabitants, one, one million, I think, stays in, uh, in your neighborhood, <laughs> John, in London. <laughs> so three million inhabitants of Lithuania, uh, they are uh, doing uh, uh, some steps. Uh, I think uh, uh, in the 90s, we created citizenship for everyone. In 95, uh, uh, our social democratic government finally our President Brzozowskis makes speech uh, absolutely officially declaring about Lithuanian collaboration with Nazis in Knesset of Israel. Uh, and uh, last year, I think, with major support of, uh, and dialogue from uh, uh, American side and Israeli side, finally we cover the communal property issue. And uh, uh, it was, of course, the sum is, uh, looks uh, like a, a for world society like a joke, but it was at least 40 million euros was uh, uh, compensated from our government side uh, for, for the next 10 years for uh, needs of Jewish community and Jewish society. Uh, and thank you again, Andrew, for uh, uh, being so instrumental on this item. 
So I think that uh, uh, having in my person a mixture between a politician and being in my new duty, the Vice Chairman of European Affairs Committee in Lithuania, I would like to say that uh, uh, we're facing a problem who will be possible uh, um, a tiny uh, uh, point of tensions between among us and people related to the uh, communist uh, occupation time. The balance between Adolf Hitler, horrible deeds and uh, horrible crimes, and Joseph Stalin uh, and communist regimes who were established after 50 years. So I think that uh, uh, no question that we cannot equalize Joseph Stalin and Adolf Hitler, and it's no question that we cannot make absolutely synchronization in the methodolog methodology. But absolutely clear that we cannot avoid uh, the question being based on the idea that the uh, uh, Holocaust is absolutely unique, how th uh, those totalitarian regimes uh, uh, try to uh, put down Jewish culture, especially in, uh, after Second World War. Being a founder of Jewish Museum, I faced a tiny but horrible idea, horrible reality, that after 48, when Joseph Stalin started the terror against Jewish population, after Israel took pro-American line, the all Jewish organizations were closed down in my country, especially, for example, Jewish Museum. And when I was responsible and, and, and founder of Jewish Museum again, I tried to found a collection of 700 years of fantastic Litvak Jewish life. Well, I'm either speaker. Collections from those pre-war looted Jewish assets. And would like to tell this, I found some collections with the support of uh, Lithuanian intellectuals. But the 50 year when we faced dispersion of Jewish people were killed, 94% of Jews were killed in Lithuania, is the biggest percentage in Europe, 94%. And their huge collections were dispersed and looted. You can imagine the last 50 years before the 90s we spent tr in underground trying to find a book published by Vilna Gaon, an uh, uh, item related to the Jewish pre-war modern art. It was forbidden for us during communist time. So I think we should be patient, including, not in the same level, but including our uh, um, thoughts and our deeds uh, evaluating the communist crimes against uh, our societies. Of course, avoiding to make a parallel and synchron not synchronizing them with Adolf Hitler for clear, absolutely clear target not to undermine the uniqueness of the Holocaust. Uh, coming uh, uh, to conclusion, uh, I would like to say, say you how I experienced uh, my two law, law productions in 98, possible somebody from you, uh, no, the, uh, knew it that I produced the law about Yiddish contribution to Europe in 98 in Council of Europe Parliamentary Assembly, and after that in 2000 with support of Stuart Eisenstadt and of course in encouragement of Tom Lantosh, I, 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 I created a, a law a resolution about looted art, Jewish looted art. Uh, even if we have law conditions created by Council of Europe Parliamentary Assembly. It's still, uh, John, uh, 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 it's still, uh, uh, still a, a, a space to encourage governments to implement the law. So if we will be uh, capable to produce the law conditions, uh, uh, we should be absolutely sure that executive part of our European society will be implementing that in a careful way. So I think uh, I will support, uh, of course, Jonathan uh, 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 amendments that we should find a clever way uh, to fight, uh, uh, to, to go against hatred in internet, not only through law conditions, but sitting with Google and every company in the world and uh, trying to uh, discover how the administration will uh, be capable to act in every particular case blocking the access. Uh, internet access, but in the case of uh, uh, Jewish uh, um, 
communal property, I think uh, we slowly should uh, come to the idea how to deal with hairless property in Europe, Jewish hairless property, and slowly to think the way, way how we can learn from the mistakes done in the past. Thank you very much.